The cornerstone of Islam is the belief in monotheism, one God. Islam means submission to the one God or to give up, because one is surrendering themselves to God. Islam's root letters come from the word salam, which means peace. Muslims are the believers of Islam. Note, even though the Quran is in Arabic, that does not mean that all Arabs are Muslim, but rather only 18% of Arabs are Muslim, according to a study in 2021. Allah simply means God, the one creator of all things and the Lord of the worlds, and it also means the God, Al-Illah, referred to as the one God in Arabic, and is noted to be derived from the Aramaic Allaha. Our soul relationship with God is precious and strong, so strong in fact that we pray straight to our Creator. In chapter 112, it says, Say, He is Allah the One, Allah the Absolute, the Eternal. He neither begets nor is begotten, born, and there is none equal or comparable to Him. Muslims believe that God is the master or the owner of the Day of Judgment. So you alone will come in front of your Creator on that day with your good and bad deeds you have accumulated with God as your judge. Hence, the relationship you build with your Maker is so important. Muslims believe that God is all-powerful and all-capable to will anything. God is the most just and knows what all things and creatures conceal and reveal. God is higher than any level we can imagine. Neither drowsiness nor sleep overtake Him. God is all-knowing, and if Allah afflicts you with any hardship, none other than Him can remove it. And if He wills good for you, none can block His bounty. He grants His bounty to whomever He wills among His servants, and He is the all-forgiving and most merciful. Therefore, everything that occurs is only because God allows it to happen. However, every creature He gives free will to. In Islam, the fitra is the natural state of pure monotheism that every child is born with. So direct your face towards the natural, true religion, inclining to truth. Adhere to the fitra of Allah upon which he has created all people. No change should there be in the creation of Allah. That is the correct religion, but most of the people do not know. Chapter 2020 Every child is born upon the fitra, but it is the parents who make the child a Christian, Jew, or Magian, Sahih al-Bukhari. So, in essence, every child is born innocent and in a state of pure monotheism, the Islamic submission to God. But it's the parents or outside influences in life that can change the child to different beliefs. So, when people convert to Islam, they are called reverts because they are reverting back to the natural state that God placed them in. Muslims are required to believe in the Torah, the Gospel, and Zabur, or the Holy Book of Dawood, or David, peace be upon him, that were all revealed or sent from God. Muslims also believe that the last and final word of God was revealed as the Holy Quran, and it pieces together and makes clear any and all doubts and misconceptions of all previous revelations sent by God, and even furthers details not found in others. Say, we believe in God and in what has been revealed to us and in what has been set down to Abraham and Ishmael and Isaac and Jacob and their offspring and what has been revealed to Moses and Jesus and to all the prophets of our Lord. We make no distinction between them and we submit to him and obey. Quran 3.84 So yes, the Muslims believe in all of these holy revelations of God previously sent. Yet, they also believe that books like the Torah and Bible over the thousands or so years have become corrupt in certain parts by human hand, which leaves the believer having to try and discern the truths that remain from the falsified or altered words. Thus, the Holy Quran puts to rest all of these misunderstandings. Sheikh Dr. Hamza Yusuf associates the Quran with the quality of that like the Last Testament, as in, there's the Old Testament, the New Testament, and the Last Testament, pointing to the simile of Islam being a universalized Judaism for all Gentiles. Basically, it brings all believers in the one God under one umbrella. And those who disbelieve say, why is not the Quran revealed to him all at once? Thus, it is sent down in parts, 
that we may strengthen your heart thereby, and we have revealed it to you gradually in stages. From the Quran 2532. The Holy Quran was revealed in stages over the course of 20 years, and that's why when reading it, one must take into consideration the time and place of the believers at that period, and not take it out of context. For each verse was revealed at a specific time for the people with specific instruction to the people, so it may be helpful to purchase a copy with sufficient footnotes and references for a full understanding. Just as the Quran was revealed in stages, we too as humans believe we must develop and grow and elevate our status to become the best believer. It also mimics the notion that people take time to change and grow, and before the time of the Quran, it's commonly referred to the days of ignorance, where God revealed his guidance in periods to help mold and shape the people into the best believers, constantly reminding that he will ease you towards ease in chapter 87 verse 8. Verily, we sent down the Quran in Arabic that you may reflect, chapter 12 verse 2. In the Quran, Allah or God refers to himself many times as we, and the truth is no human knows what God may look like or be like and etc. since he's greater than our human understandings. To be fair, we've grown to give God the characteristic of being masculine since it's easier for us to understand. What we do know is that the whole book of the Quran is the ancient Arabic language that God prescribed it to be in. We did not send any messenger but speaking in the language of his people so that he might clearly convey the message to them. Quran 14.4 Unlike the other religious texts that were translated many times and written out in different languages and then pieced all together, where there could be a high risk of texts being altered, God made the Quran to be written in the original Arabic so that it would never be touched by humans trying to alter the original language, where finally it was pieced together in its original language. Then later we have copies of it in the translation of our tongues for our own benefit, yet each word can still be traced back to its original Arabic root words. And it's also worth noting that God set further instructions on how the Quran is to be recited and how it's only to be recited in its original language, which would also help it stay unaltered over time. People who hear the Quran being recited may think that they hear someone singing or chanting, but that is only because God elected a special way to recite it, even though it is not to be associated with music. The Quran makes mention many times the certain instructions for the Jews and Christians and how each group will judge by what God has revealed to each, even ultimately stating, We have revealed to you, O Prophet, this book with the truth as a confirmation of previous scriptures and a supreme authority on them. So judge between them by what Allah has revealed and do not follow their desires over the truth that has come to you. To each of you, we have ordained a code of law and a way of life. If Allah had willed, he would have made you one community, but his will is to test you with what he has given each of you. So compete with one another in doing good. To Allah, you will all return. Then he will inform you of the truth regarding your differences. Quran 548. This further supports the message in the Quran that God is the ultimate sole judge of all different groups and peoples and no one has the right to judge another because each person will be judged according to their own actions. The Holy Quran is ultimately a book of guidance complete with stories of prominent religious figures like prophets as role models, laws, reminders, and clear evidences and prophecy. People have stated that it has something in it for everyone who searches and that one can tell that it is a clear narration straight from God. God challenges numerous times in the Quran that, to people who ever doubt if it's really from God, that no one will ever find anything unique like it, saying, then bring a chapter like it and call whoever you can besides God if you are truthful. Quran 1038